Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. Cutting cat nails can be very intimidating and stressful, but the good news is that clipping nails doesn't have to turn into a Freddy Krueger movie. With time, patience, and the right technique, just about any cat can be trained to tolerate a nail trimming. Some cats even learn to enjoy getting their nails clipped. If you like learning about cats, consider subscribing to the channel, that way it's easier to find our content. In this video, we're going to explain everything you need to know before and after picking up the clippers. Now, let's go through the complete guide on how to safely cut your cat's nails. Now, should you trim your cat's nails? First, you need to determine if trimming your cat's nails is in their best interest. Overall, cutting cat nails is unnecessary. However, this depends on your cat's lifestyle. If you have an outdoor cat, you should never trim their nails because claws are essential for hunting, climbing, and self-defense. In general, an exception is if an outdoor cat has a nail that's curling towards the paw pad. If the claw penetrates the pad, it can cause pain and infection. If you have an indoor cat, the need to trim nails is a case-by-case -case basis. For example, if you have an older or less active cat, they might not use scratching posts very often. Note that when a cat uses a scratching post, their nails get filed down. That's why it's important for every cat owner to keep plenty of scratching posts throughout the house. If your cat's nails aren't regularly being filed, they can sometimes cause problems. As mentioned earlier, long claws can cause pain and infection if they curve and penetrate the pad. As another example, if your cat is getting their nails caught on furniture, clothing, or carpets, it can be painful for them to break free. If you have any doubts about whether or not you should trim your cat's nails, ask your veterinarian. Should you declaw your cat? If you determine that nail trimming is needed for your cat, it might be tempting to look for a permanent solution such as declawing. However, declawing should never be done because it causes unnecessary pain and suffering. Despite the name, declawing is much more than removing a cat's claws. In order to make sure the claws don't grow back, the end bone of each toe must be amputated, which is one third of a cat's paw. This is equivalent to cutting a human's finger off at the first knuckle. Sadly, many declawed cats develop behavioral problems that are much more serious than scratching. In fact, declawing has been restricted or banned in over 20 countries. In the United States, it has been banned in a handful of cities and in the state of New York. If you want more information about this topic, we have a video titled The Painful Truth About Declawing Cats, which we'll have linked in the description below. But nonetheless, if your cat's claws are causing issues, cutting their nails is the only safe and humane option. Now, which nail clippers are the best? While it's okay to use human nail clippers on your cat, it's best to use clippers designed specifically for your feline friend. Cutting cat nails is much easier when the clippers are specifically designed for claws. Plus, human clippers can cause a cat nail to split. There are four main types of clippers on the market. Number one, scissor style. Like the name sounds, scissor style clippers resemble a pair of household scissors. The notch holds the claw steady while you trim. Their simple design makes trimming nails easy, which is why this style is often recommended for beginners. So if you're new to cutting cat nails, we highly recommend this style. Number two, plier style. This is a more heavy duty style, which is ideal for cats with thick nails. Groomers often use plier clippers because of its sturdy abilities. That's why we recommend this style for cats with very thick nails. Number three, guillotine style. When you look at a pair of guillotine clippers, you'll understand where the name comes from. This style has a loop where the cat's claw passes through for the trim. Although these clippers can get the job done, the loop can make it difficult to see exactly where you're cutting. That's why we recommend avoiding this style. Number four, electric style. Electric nail grinders can be quick and easy to use. Many people like how they smooth out the nail edges. However, this style is loud and usually scares cats. This reason alone is why we don't recommend electric clippers, especially if your cat is skittish. While there are pros and cons to each, you should pick the pair of nail clippers that you feel the most comfortable using. No matter which pair you choose, just remember to check the blades to make sure they're sharp before each use. A dull pair of clippers can lead to breaking a nail instead of cutting it, which can cause a lot of pain or discomfort. Get your cat used to having their paws touched. Long before a nail trimming, you need to get your cat used to having their paws touched. This is important because some cats dislike having their paws touched more than the trim itself. If your cat is stingy with their paws, don't panic, there's a method that just about anyone can do. Luckily, the process is very simple, but it does take time and patience. 
To start, gently take one of your cat's paws and massage it for a few seconds. Ideally, this should be done when your cat is already lounging with you. If your cat lets you massage their paws successfully, give them a treat. This process should be done at least once a day, but if you can, try to do it two or three times a day. Repeat this routine for several days or weeks depending on your cat's tolerance. As a side note, if your cat never lets you massage their paw to begin with, the process just needs an extra step. If your cat pulls away, don't grab their paw. Instead, follow their paw and gently touch it. When they let you touch their paw successfully, give them a treat, then slowly work your way up to the paw massages. Once your cat is comfortable with paw massages, get them used to extending their claws by gently pressing on the paw pad by following the same process. Again, this short routine should be done at least once a day for several days or weeks, depending on your cat. Once your cat is fully comfortable with you extending their claws, you're ready for the next step. Get your cat used to clippers. At this point, it may be tempting to proceed with the nail trimming. However, there's one more warm-up round you need to do before the race. Unfamiliar objects can stress your cat out, so it's important to get them used to the clippers. First, leave the pair of clippers out for your cat to investigate. Cats are curious creatures, so this alone could encourage them to check it out. If not, leave a treat next to the clippers to lure them over. Next, it's time to get your cat familiar with the sound of the clippers. With your cat on your lap, Fetch by WebMD recommends placing a piece of dried spaghetti in the clippers. While gently massaging one paw, hold the clippers near their paw and cut the noodle so it makes a cracking noise. After the sound, immediately reward your cat. Like with the paw massages, repeat this at least once a day for several days or weeks, depending on your cat's tolerance. Familiarize yourself with the paw. Finally, before you pick up the clippers, you need to familiarize yourself with the anatomy of a paw. This ensures that you trim the right part of the nail. Clipping too much of the nail can lead to a painful disaster for your cat. We aren't saying this to scare you out of cutting your cat's nails. Instead, we just need to stress the importance of knowing the claws. Cat nails grow directly out of their phalanges muscle, and the phalanges are connected to nerves and blood vessels. If you look closely at your cat's claw, you'll notice a darker or pink section inside the mostly clear exterior. This dark section is called the quick and is where the nerves and blood vessels are located. It is absolutely essential that you do not cut the quick, because doing so will cause extreme pain and bleeding for your cat. Instead, only the white tip of the nail, which is the sharp point, should be trimmed. Keep in mind that it's always better to leave more claw than cut too deep. That's why it's best to just cut the sharp point. It's a good idea to keep styptic powder in the house in case an accident happens. Styptic powder is used to stop bleeding caused by clipping nails or minor cuts. This type of powder is a safe, quick, and effective aid to have with your pet supplies. We'll have a link in the description box below. Now that your cat is comfortable with paw massages and clipper noises, and you are familiar with the paw's anatomy, it's time to go in for the trim. How to cut your cat's nails. First, put your cat on your lap, facing away from you. Next, take one of your cat's paws and gently press on the pad until their claw is clearly extended. Then, be sure to avoid the quick and clip the sharp point. Once you've trimmed that nail, immediately let go of the paw and give your cat a treat if they've noticed what happened. If your cat is relaxed and doesn't seem bothered by what's going on, move on to the next nail. Many cats will complain or get antsy after you've trimmed two or three nails. If this happens, do not force them to continue. Instead, stop and let go because you don't want your cat to associate nail trimming with stress. If you have to stop early, consider it a win instead of a defeat. You may need several short sessions to get all their nails trimmed, and that's okay. Most cats have 18 claws, 5 on each front paw and 4 on each back. So, even if you can only clip 3 nails at a time, your cat will be fully trimmed within a week. And that's if you even need all of their claws trimmed. Most cats only need their front claws trimmed because those are the ones that get the sharpest. If you trim your cat's nails on a regular basis, there's a good chance they will learn to tolerate longer nail trimming sessions. Now that leads us to the next question. How often should you trim your cat's nails? Once you have successfully trimmed your cat's nails, you may be wondering when they'll need to be clipped again. Most cats will need their claws trimmed every two weeks. Even if you think your cat could go a little longer, it's best to maintain a consistent schedule to keep them used to trimming. If you find yourself forgetting, we suggest you mark your calendar or set up a phone reminder. Are there any other options? 
If you are having trouble cutting cat nails, ask your veterinarian or groomer for advice. Many veterinarians and groomers offer nail trimmings for very affordable prices. During the session, you can always watch and learn as well as ask for additional tips. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up because it helps us out in the YouTube algorithm. And as always, we encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catterday for another video.